This video series is inspired by eco-imagination. What it is, is it's a seesaw, an old style seesaw, um, and it, underneath it there's a piston that, uh, that pumps the water. There's a couple of check valves and it pumps water out of a reservoir and right now back into the reservoir, sort of acting like a water fountain. At the East Bay Maker Fair where we first showed this, uh, someone came by and told me about a play pump, which is a similar idea but using a merry-go-round, a uh, kid's merry-go-round to pump water that's actually being deployed in uh, villages in Africa now. In my earlier designs, I always expected the bottom of the piston to be in the reservoir, but when we realized that wasn't going to work, the reservoir was separate, and there was a tube going from the bottom of the piston up over the lip to the reservoir. That, uh, uh, and then we got that set up and we started pumping and nothing happened. Uh, a lot of funny noises, no water. And then we, uh, th I thought about it a little bit and realized I needed to prime the pump, just like in the old style pumps. You had to pick it up and pour some water in the end, and then it, it worked great. And that was a great opportunity for Lena to learn about, you know, what does it mean to prime the pump and why do we do it? And, and also about the metaphor of priming the pump to, to just get things started, which in a way it describes this whole project. Um, a check valve is this little thing of a bird that will only let water go one way. So once the water goes through it, it can't escape down and go back into the reservoir. So that's basically how it works. If we didn't have the check valve, it wouldn't really work very well. Yeah, I think Lena's learned a lot from this. I mean, right from the start, we talked about, um, okay, the seesaw has, generates energy. How are we gonna use this? Are we gonna uh, drive a generator and have electricity and then an electric pump? Or are we going to pump the water directly from the energy of the seesaw, which is in the end what we decided to do? Um, and so we were right away talking about energy, where does it come from, how do you use it? And uh, so she really got that. Yeah, I, I'm an engineer now. I work at Pixar, I work in the research group, and I went to Caltech, I got a PhD, but, but all this for me had its start with what happened at home for me when I was a kid, which my dad was always fixing things, um, and he had no fear to open up any device. The TV would break, he'd take it apart and fix it, and, and I just thought that was normal. I didn't realize that didn't happen in everybody's house, and so I wanted to be able to give that to my kids as well. And the Maker Fair kind of stuff and the making stuff is kind of the fixing part plus the fun part of creation, so it's even, even better for me. Once you've been doing your project for a really long time, then it's just really fun to see what the outcome of it is. It's worked out pretty good, huh? Hello, I'm Cow. The folks at GE have found a way to turn my waste into cleaner energy. I do what I do, then they do what they do with what I did. The result is renewable energy from a rather abundant source. Eco-imagination, how the world can work better.